Welcome to my virtual studio relocation sale and open house. These are strange times, but I'm trying to adapt and adjust creatively, so here goes. I'm Denise Cormier Mahoney, and I'd like to share 20 of my art pieces in my studio. You would be here in person, but with COVID, we are doing the best that we can. So I'd like to share these pieces with you, offer you a 10% discount until May 22nd, and free delivery in Kitsap County, Washington. So this piece is called The Name Change. It is a collage, acrylic, and I've used printmaking stamp-like designs for visual texture. You can see some of the detail here. Here's some of the collaged shapes in the background that have thin layers of paint on them. These um, few elements here are some printmaking elements that I've added to the piece. Next is a painting, mixed media painting called Quest, and it is 46 by 23. This is an acrylic and paper and fabric collage. So here's the paper part. I've crumpled up the paper to create a rock-like effect on the piece. The tree itself, is a fabric collage, but I've also painted some areas to appear like fabric so that you would be able to not be sure of the difference. I like doing that, it creates uh, illusion. And then of course here is some of my acrylic paint detail. This piece, along with the next one that I'm showing you, or going to show you, is have been featured in the Washington Avenue open air gallery. It's a permanent art display, a per permanent public art display. This piece is called Heron, 45 by 26. It is on the um, Washington Avenue open air gallery now. It's featured there now. The artwork was reproduced as a vinyl coated wrap onto a metal plate. It has been doubled in size, so it's quite a large piece. And it's on the retaining wall across from the Minette Bridge in Bremerton. Um, Blue Heron will be there soon. This piece being just acrylic, let me show you some of the detail here. Red Pear is a 36 by 36 on canvas. It is an acrylic piece and it's just it was a stage in my art where I was still painting all of my fabric designs. I've been very attracted to fabric. My dad was a tailor and that is an influence that I've taken from him. And now I do both. I do the painted uh, appearance of fabric as well as using the actual fabric on a piece. And this next piece called Chosen Fruit is an example of that. It's a 20 by 16. It's acrylic, texture paste, and a fabric collage. So let me zoom in on the fabric collage part so you can see what I've done here. That's all fabric. It's like a leather type of fabric, faux leather. I use a lot of gold leaf and texture paste in this piece. Chosen Fruit. Sunny Day is a 12 by 12. Most of my pieces are on um, wood panels that my husband creates for me. This is an acrylic and fabric collage. I've also used some metal elements to add some textural elements. But this technique is very typical of how I might show shadows and highlights and, and different um, elements to the piece. I've also used some Texture paste in there. So let me kind of zoom around here and show you some of my studio. And I'll be going to those paintings in just a minute. Two small pieces, Jean Pottery and Daisies. Jean Pottery is a acrylic texture paste and gold leaf and Pastel Daisies is a chalk pastel. I'm now working with my printing press on my 20 by 20 Christmas card. 
during uh, self-isolation, I tell you, we got to do the best that we can. So I'm creating personalized Christmas cards on my printing press. And some of you are on my list, I'm sure of it. So here you can see some of the ones that I've started. This piece of furniture is something I picked up with a friend in Portland and houses my fabric and my paper collages, my printmaking paper and all those great things. It's such a great piece of furniture. Portrait of my mother is 24 by 15 and is an acrylic. And if you're like me, this is a very typical scene of uh, our childhood. The Legend of the Pomegranate is 24 by 26. It's the first time that I've used a more relief sculptural element in my artwork. I do have a tendency to love the more textural elements, both visual and real, that you can actually reach and touch. This is the first time I've used something more 3, 3D. And this is 24 by 26, acrylic, texture paste, and gold leaf. Our Shadows is another large panel of 48 by 24. It's an acrylic fabric and metal collage and gold leaf. So let's zoom into some of the detail here. The gold leaf, some of the stenciling that I've created in the sky, as well as in the root system. The tree is a fabric collage and metal collage. Our shadows. The next four are all about eight by 10, and they're very similar. I did them around the same time based on the manuscript illumination influence that I so heavily show in my artwork. And these are illuminated elephant, illuminated tree, illuminated thistle, and flowers of old. Let me zoom into some of the textural elements here, which are very prevalent in my work. This is a um, handmade paper collage and texture paste. Texture paste and gold leaf. fabric collage and painted to appear like a fabric collage, gold leaf, flowers on gold is a 24 by 24 acrylic texture paste and paper collage with some gold leaf elements. I've actually put the handmade paper, chosen the handmade paper to have the more textural elements to support some of the textures that I used in the flower itself. As well as the compositional element that I used up at the top. And this is called Sunflowers on Gold. Lost in Thought is a 16 by 10 fabric collage, acrylic, and gold leaf. And you can see the elements of texture here, some of the details. And those of you who recognize my daughter know that I use her as a model quite often. Le Dahlia de Denise is a chalk pastel that commemorates my Aunt Denise and some of the antiques in her home in France. It's a handmade frame by a friend of mine. I want to show you a few small pieces here on the tabletop. The first one is called Leaves Falling. It's an acrylic and fabric collage. And what I did here is I used the fabric as the canvas. 
and then used my painting elements on top of that, which is an actually really fun thing to do. The Lone Crow is a smaller piece, five by seven. It's a paper collage and acrylic. And then these next two pieces are actually slumped glass. I used, um, this was a collaboration with Lisa Sturette. She was designing my business sign, which I'll show you in a minute, but I had to create the relief sculptural element of the trees first and create the textural elements that are so prevalent in my work. And then from there, she slumped the glass into the molds. I have two extra ones available as window ornaments, if you are interested. And then, of course, I have the end product of the sign she created for me. And this is Denise Carmi Mahoney at DCM Studios. Um, please accept my 10% discount until May 22nd. I do deliver free in Kitsap County. And for any details that you would like to know more, please email me at dcmahoneyart at gmail.com and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And please enjoy this video and I'll be posting two others in the next couple of days. Thank you, bye, stay safe.